Hey all, welcome to Hattori Hanzo's Forge. I need a spear potion first. So, four hours should suffice. Now, let's see what the objectives are. Uh, right. We've got some sword shards in the previous location all across Japan and now we have to force them into a sword but that is not possible without a skilled uh, blacksmith so Atori Hanzo is the person we are looking for he has the skills that we need so that's where we are going to look for him this is a big location with more than 1500 tiles and will cost around 187,000 uh, or 1.87 million. Okay, so let's see. The energy required is 10 times the reward usually. So 1.87 million is the energy required in this case so nothing in this section there's a blacksmith arrow and we are going in the right direction we have caves here okay not one or two caves we have a lot of caves so let's check out one by one I guess we should take the leap and enter one of the caves. Uh, which cave will exit where can be determined by the color of the flower next to the cave or the type of flower not the color because as I can see there are two yellow flowers right here. All of the caves are visible from a single screen so I can actually determine which cave I have missed and which not so that will just be a little easier for me but this indeed looks interesting okay we are still jumping from cave to cave so looks like we are on the correct path because I don't think a wrong path will have so many possible paths to go. Still jumping around. Not sure if there is any kind of loop around here. I haven't landed on the same island twice, so maybe not. Just with that big of location, I think I'm going to miss tiles anyway. Uh, it looks like we have found the way to the blacksmith. We had chosen the correct paths after all, so that's great. If you are looking to exit without going back, I managed to find the correct path in my first attempt. Now that was the shortcut to go back. I can always use the shortcut or walk all the way back. I am now just digging the extra tiles. There are a lot of unexplored islands as well. So this was a big area. I did not really see how big it was. This island we had explored. This is a dead end. So going back now. Again miss the chest here. These are quite easy to miss it seems. Back to the start. Let's explore the red cave now. Red flower cave. 
and this siren we just explored I guess a few jumps around here and we shall be done what did I just do okay I tapped it twice these new tiles they actually don't make a sound the tiles from the previous regions and all they do make a sound but most of the new world are uh, terra tiles still don't make a sound for some reason i don't know my app is up to date they might have just forgot to put the sound or maybe some other glitch anyway that's not bad at least there will be less interruption in the sound I am now following the correct path once again so just in case you have uh, missed it the first time around you can watch now this time there are no distractions of tiles either so this will be better for you I am just checking to see if there was any missed uh, tiles yes this is what I was actually looking for because I had remembered there was such a section where there were two possible paths and I had chosen the left one. So this is the only thing that would probably be missing in this cave puzzle. And that's the dead end. So I can conclude this section to be complete. That was fun. Still too far from completing the location. Not even 400 tiles yet. We probably have more interesting things ahead. Let's find out. I hope I'm taking the correct path now. Yes, there weren't any further alternatives. So only from one cave to the next. We have reached the end again and now next section custom made swords exactly what we need we have the four shards we need the sword the sounds are back for these tiles hmm, perhaps I should be climbing up the stairs instead I am digging up the sides these probably lead to dead ends because I don't see anything meaningful here. Everything must be in the center of the hill. There are some stairs here but they lead to a dead end. And we have a treasure part here so let's do that treasure part first since we are here. Okay, looks like we have a mirror puzzle, so this is a really interesting mine. Okay, we have a big one, a lot of mirrors, some hidden tiles too. No sources yet. Not all of the tiles are hidden though. Where are the sources? I am going on digging and I can see a lot of mirrors but no signs of the sources. Okay, time to eat some food. I think I will finish this in one go. Might as well eat some bulk food. We have such a big cave that is the treasure part that this energy does not seem like enough 
Let's see if it is. Certainly don't think so. We have a major part yet to be explored. Finally found the first source of light. We have four such sources. Somewhere around the entire cave. Back to the start. I think I'm going to eat some bulk food. I started with around 500 k, eat around 100 k. Um, I will need a significant amount. But um, let's see, 784 sounds like a good amount. Yep, I did that. Later we'll see if we need more. explored areas. Let's return to the unexplored ones. This section is explored as well. Okay, don't go around. That's probably the second light source. Yes, I'm right. Okay, two sources found. Still lot of them to go. Third source found. One more to go. I think this is where the fourth source would be. And that's right. So two on the right, one on the left and one on the bottom. That's the position of our sources. Mm, that's not the hard part. The hard part is figuring out these mirrors. So I've pretty much dug out the entire thing. Just a few grass tiles left here and there. Okay, looks like we are done with the grass tiles. Time to solve the puzzle. Now each of the central receivers, it's possible to put light on them from two different directions, except for this blue one. So that would be a good idea to start with. I'm going to backtrace the way. Well, not possible to backtrace it a lot. The blue source is... Where is the blue source? Yeah, here is the blue source. Hmm, I think I figured it out already. That wasn't too complex. I'm going around the longer way and up from here yep that's it for the blue one it's activated now time to check out the other ones let's start with yellow and I have a feeling it will go left because hey if we go right then it's a really 
short way but do I need these mirrors for the green one maybe or maybe not we will find that out but let's start with the red one this has to start from the top direction because on the bottom direction we have the green one hence it's not possible to go bottom otherwise the green ray will just not be able to come out so that's the way for the red and it's a pretty straightforward way because there is no choice to make the mirror can only rotate in one direction with the mirror that is now this obviously can't go up so we have figured out the red already that is without much complexity in most of the path we only had one decisions to make the green obviously starts from the bottom because up there we have red and a similar fate that as of red the green will also end up in its destination without much hassle this stone is here for no purpose let me just put it in some corner and from here i can go up or down up is the wiser choice of course and like i had suspected we are using this mirror for the green one so for the yellow one we cannot go from this direction it has to be the other direction Not much choices to make and we are close to the end so this was not as hard as I thought it would be there we go the treasure part is ours okay back to the main quest we are yet to find Tori Hanzo not sure if we have any kind of bonus here these stones just indicate me could be but I don't think we have anything to place them on and we have too many of those stones so we can still go over there like that for one second I thought it was not possible but it struck me that it was so we are doing the circular path around these volcanic mountains ok let's continue now from the house that's the only thing we can enter of movable patterns again gives me a feeling it could be a bonus we will find that out first let's get the tiles to look for possible clues It's not possible to take these barrels outside because they are just locked up here. We have three puddles and we can actually take the empty barrels to the center area. The filled barrels, they cannot be moved from their sections. Pretty sure this is a bonus. Let's see. Uh, I think I will have to place this in the end because I have to put it here and then pull it from the other side. To go to the other side, I could not have this barrel in place. 
so this is first and now we can place this for a possible bonus yes we have a bonus the special golden pig now these two gates on the left and right they exit onto the uh, main yard with the volcanoes and that is what i thought but it turns out we are into another room much let's take the other door it's probably the one that is going to take us out okay we have completed more than halfway but we still have a significant portion to go looks like we are fine Hattori Hanzo and he needs an assistant Diggy is happy to be his assistant that's where we place the swords we had collected in the previous location. Now we need to store the flow of lava. Let's temperature can melt the shards to make it into a new sword. Return to him after we are done. So let's take those exits. Oh wow, we have so many amethyst here. Anyway, that's for the end after we have started the flow of lava. segments into these mountains hmm. looks like we have multiple caves even that one is enterable Okay, this is interesting. The pipes are not in a single section. I thought we would have some rotatable pipes or movable pipes or so. But this is either easier or more complex than that. Okay, here comes the section. But there are just lines over here. These pipes are working though. But there are no broken pipes visible here. So I have a feeling they must be into the ground where these pipes are taking a turn. Maybe that turn the area is visible from elsewhere. feeling that these pipes are not closed on all the ends so the quest is to only avoid the open ends if that is the case then this will be much simpler so let's start from the lava this cannot go down it can only go up and from here I don't think the lift goes anywhere because there is no line emerging from it this line goes into this pipe this can go up or down the path up leads to nowhere a dead end so it can go down and it takes to this pipe the lower section anyway that was not possible so we only had to turn right here now into this pipe this will turn up 
this will too turn up there is no other possible direction similarly this will have to go left because there's just no direction the pipe could possibly be turned into here we can turn it up or down but the down does not make sense because it leads to a dead end here so from the upper pipe it leads to this the left one is the correct the right one seems to go nowhere and this one has to be bottom the right section goes nowhere so left it is and we can't go straight so down it is right is a dead end so left which leads to this pipe again actually right does not go to a dead end but we have already used that section of the pipe so turning left and we complete the flow the lava has flown up to this point and the further section is probably automated we don't have to worry too much about it so i think one section is done let's return stones here but i think to place them on so i don't think there is a bonus So as you can see the lava from the right pipe has started flowing but the left section is still missing so we are now going on to the left side probably something similar here too but before we use the lava we have some shards to break Alright, we can continue now. Okay, here comes the next section. This time we have some red crystals to break and then rotate the pipes. So the puzzles are different. Which makes it better because if it's the same puzzle repeated over and over, it gets boring after a certain point. But if the puzzles are different, that's fun. So I'm probably going to try and clear all those red shards first. Let's start with the lower side. That's a fixed mirror, dead end on that one. Can we take this anywhere else? Hmm. Okay, we have another light source on this side. Rotating the pipes is not that hard. What I'm liking more is this red shards in between that are possibly blocking our way. I don't need to break these lower ones but since they're there, why not? Okay, the light is passing straight through the pipes. I did not notice this initially. we have more light sources and we 
even have another mirror here. I think we have had enough. With the light passing through the pipes, it's much easier to break all those shards. We can break one more here. So is that it? There are more shards in the center, which we can possibly break. So these are the only ones left and it's a simple roll of this mirror and we have gotten rid of all the red crystals that are possibly blocking our way to the rotatable pipe sections. Now let's turn the pipes. We have to avoid the broken pieces. Some of the pipes in the center are broken. This can only go down, this one right. Now this one has to go up because a section on the bottom side is broken. So taking the longer route, we have avoided that broken section. one goes left this one has to turn down let's fix this one while we are on the way okay steady flow of the pipes this one I missed again, so we'll have to go around. Okay, looks good. We have reached till this point. That is almost done. Even though there is a bridge there, there is a pipe. Don't forget that. one last and we are done so the second section of this volcano is done but we have one more volcano to solve so the puzzles are not over yet okay this was fun let's see what more fun we have in the other volcano i just realized i'm going to level up pretty soon so I will have another 600,000 ish energy. So I might go over the requirement of this level. But it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Hey, hi seem to have taken the wrong path because this is the second section of the cave and it's not supposed to be here I wanted to exit the cave so I just didn't realize where I was going while I was talking this is where both the sections merge and they are now taking the lava out that's the exit Mm. on to the other side now that's not the way to go there we have to go through the house That's the exit from the second gate of the house.
quickly miss the few ties outside but i will check them out on the way back for now let's continue with the finally part of this level fixing two more lava pipes mm, i think i'm not going to level up that easily i may have to collect an achievement or something else See how much I need. Okay, still thirty-ish thousand more energy needed. I think I will just eat a food item, or maybe watch an ad. That ad just gave me twelve thousand five hundred energy, so this might not be enough. Okay, just one more tile. That's the level. Okay, that probably gives me more energy than I need. We'll see how much we can consume out of that. For now, time for the puzzle. Hmm. This time we just have some stones to move and the pipes to fix. And we have some modern tiles to simplify things. This is probably like either dig those tiles or move those stones. You can choose to do either of them. It should be possible to dig, um, continue without digging any of these tiles. But because I am anyway going to dig the tiles, I am going to take the shorter way. If you want me to show you how to proceed without digging this tile, then let me do just that. Like this, pushing the stones out. Um, maybe we can't reach here because this stone can only be pushed in one tile. Maybe I'll have to come from the other side for that. But I think it should still be possible. Let me just dig out that tile. Because going to the other side would take a longer walk. Here's another place where I could demonstrate. Hmm, if we come from the other side, I guess. Because if we come from the other side, then we'll be able to pull this stone back. Hmm, never mind. I don't know if it's even possible or I'm just imagining things. I do still have a feeling that it should be possible. Oh wait, we can't come from the other side technically. Uh, oh, we can actually. We have a path here. So never mind. It should be possible, but if it's not. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe others would find that useful. I don't think you would be saving energy up here. But if you are, great. Few more tiles left in this center and then we can start with fixing the pipes. Okay, start from the lava side. The upper part is broken, so down we go. Up from there. And let's turn this on the way. So, yeah, onto this pipe now. This one has to go up because the lower part is broken. And this one has to turn to the right. So 
I'm here. We can possibly go both sides, but left is probably the way to go. On the right side, we are end up ending up in cracked pipes. Maybe full pipes is also possible. Uh, I'm not sure about this at this point. I think I will do a front tracing from here. That is tracking from the correct path. So to reach this point we have to come through this pipe and this has to come from this direction. We can't use the lower side because of the broken pipe. And here we have a junction can come from the top or the right. I will just arrange the pipes on the right just in case we are going through this direction. We probably are because the upper pipe, this section, we are not utilizing, we are not flowing water into this pipe at all. So maybe this is the way to go. Okay, so this section has to point to the right side. And this will then point to the left. This is probably where we were stuck. Hmm. So we are actually flowing through the broken pipes. But since we have a working pipe here, maybe that is what we are using. This should be correct. Yes, it is correct. So that works. Now back to the second section of this volcano. The last one. Uh, we don't have to go all the way back. There are stones here that we can use as a shortcut. Okay, water is flowing through one section onto the other side now. With our 500 k energy left, we do have a good amount of extra energy, I believe. Hmm. The vertical currently does not have a use, we have to pull it up. But before that, the star goes in place. Seeing this bit puzzle, I have a feeling that this section of the volcano involves a few pits. Yes, we have pits here as I expected. So let's take the tiles and fill the pits. I don't need a cord child at this point, but since it's there, I will take it. Hmm, let's start fixing the pipes also. Well, not just yet. For that, we need to put that vertical in place first. For that, we have to access it from the other side. So, doing the tiles first is the better choice. Not much tiles left anyway. Still got 400k energy left. And the tiles remaining are 50-ish. 
Hmm, so this one we can push from the other side other side hmm, stuck stuck again okay maybe I'll have to take that star out first and now the circle can go We can put the triangle here and take the star now. We have enough room to put this triangle in too. Now this vertical can go, so can the circle. One triangle left and that should be easy. Pull it one step down from the other side. Come back and pull it onto the pit. Okay, so finally we are done with the last puzzle, uh, extruding the pipes that is. Mm, let's see, it doesn't seem to be too hard. Now we can either go left, left is not the choice. Uh, well, it is actually, if we go to the bottom side of the left pipe and that's probably where we are going because technically if we choose to go from this side then this will have to go left and the left side does not have a conclusion because it's just rotating in itself, not going anywhere. So, how uh, we have set this one wrong, it's going through a broken piece. Water uh, lava flowing from down. So, it goes through this pipe, takes the straight path into this pipe. This has to go from downside because the upper part has a broken piece. This one has to turn. I wish it could go straight, but that's not possible. Left has a dead end, so right it is. And from here, we are almost there. The last section. So I have been able to solve the pipes pretty smoothly. There we go, last section lava is filled. Now let's go back and talk to Hattori Hanzo. I just want to make sure I am not taking the wrong cave again. We are supposed to exit from here. In the other volcano, I took the wrong cave. So just a few extra ties around here. And back to the house. With the hot lava flowing in, we should be able to make the sword now. it is the sword that's the wall to turn and what lava is flowing in our sword is uh, not yet ready he's making it still okay interesting procedures and we have the sword uh, do we? It just disappeared without us picking it up. So maybe a theft or something has happened. Okay, let me just double up. Let's find what happened. 
Susano brother has flooded with a tsunami and plate pieces okay that's what we were missing so plate pieces and helping people first okay that's all for the next quest for now just a few more tiles and we shall conclude Hopefully no missed tiles. That's great. 1505 tiles without missing any. Great achievement. So thank you for watching and do subscribe to the channel if you have liked the video. See you in the next location.